July 1st, 1973 promised to be an ordinary day at Kabwe's Mokobeko Maximum Security Prison, but the stillness of day that hung over the prison was suddenly broken when three inmates staged one of the most dramatic escapes in Zambia's history. Never before had any gang of criminals been so daring as to break through the huge, well-secured gates of the prison facility, but that day it happened, and when it did, it resulted in a trail of blood and a stunned nation. The man at the center of this was then Zambia's most notorious criminal, Roy Mudenda, and two Congolese accomplices, Alexander Kabongo and Denyon Kamunga. At the time of the escape, Mudenda was serving a 20-year prison sentence for aggravated robbery. His two accomplices were serving 13 and 20 years respectively for similar offenses. While working inside the prison under the supervision of prison warder Aksan Chingove, the trio suddenly turned on the warder and stabbed him in the left pelvis rendering him unconscious. Another prison warder who heard the scuffle and came to the aid of Mr. Chingove found the convict struggling to unlock the prison's main gate. He tried to overpower one of the convicts but was shot in the left arm outside the prison gate. The three killers found a prison Land Rover with a driver inside and ordered him out at gunpoint. They seized the vehicle and drove off. After about 32 kilometers on the Ndola Road, police had mounted a routine roadblock and the bandits forced their way past. A policeman later gave chase in a private car and overtook them. When the bandits spotted the policeman, they panicked and the Land Rover overturned, but they fled into the bush, still armed. Nothing was heard of the fugitives until July 5th when it was reported that they had attacked a Kapirimposhi kapo and robbed them of a hundred kwacha, which was a lot of money in those days, and some clothes. Central Division Police Chief Mr. John Chongo dispatched more police reinforcements to Kapiri and surrounding areas to help search for the fugitives. Mr. Chongo also requested for paramilitary from Lusaka to help in the search of the criminals. Two of the bandits, Kabongo and Kamunga, were eventually cornered the following day, near the house that they had robbed. When President Kaunda heard of the news of the capture of the two Congolese bandits, he congratulated and highly commended the police chief, paramilitary, and other units for their devotion and efficiency. However, Roy Mudenda was still at large. Over time, Roy Mudenda had James Bond-type skirmishes with police and indeed managed to evade arrest on several occasions. When he was finally caught, he was tried and sentenced to death by hanging. Roy Mudenda was eventually executed. This is the prison break story of Roy Mudenda, Zambia's most notorious criminal.